Good evening, St. John's. It's by no means an overstatement to say what a somber mood there is in our world today. Not only are we living in an era of quite toxic relationships between neighbors, between red states and blue states, and all the permeations therein, not only to be in a year of pandemic, when we are afraid of what we will breathe in the air, uh, what sickness we will get from one another. Now we also have these wretched fires and the smoke filling the atmosphere and our homes and our lungs. It reminds us in a small way of what happened 19 years ago during the terrorist attacks when so many of the reports described what the fumes were like as people were rushing down the stairs trying to escape the Twin Towers. So much toxicity, so much enmity, so much division between one another. It is a somber day. We are living in somber times. And yet doesn't our Christ know exactly what it is like. Our days are no different than the days he lived, in a world filled with toxicity and enmity. And we are grateful for him and his witness that he would continue to point to a truer version of how we are meant to live, a more eternal vision of how we will live. You have heard that it was said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your Father in heaven. He causes his sun to rise on the evil and the good and sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. Enemies are a human invention. It doesn't seem that God regards any of us as his enemies. All are his children. All are the ones he blesses. The sun shines and he sends the rain. And in this day of literal gloom, I turn to our Christ and remember, with hope and with love, that we need not give ourselves over to a spirit of enmity, that we love and we bless, for all are the children of God. And we want to love as God loves, without measure, without stinginess of any kind, but that of a parent who can never cease to love. Let us pray. The angels of God guard us through the night and quiet in the powers of darkness. The Spirit of God be our guide, to lead us to peace and to glory. It is but lost labor that we haste to rise up early and so late take rest and eat the bread of anxiety. For those beloved of God are given gifts, even while they sleep. My brothers and sisters, our help is in the name of the eternal God, who is making the heavens and the earth. Dear God, thank you for all that is good, for our creation and our humanity. For the stewardship you have given us of this planet Earth, for the gifts of life and of one another, for your love which is unbounded and eternal. O thou most holy and beloved, my companion, my guide upon the way, my bright evening star, we repent the wrongs we have done. We have wounded your love. O God, heal us. We stumble in the darkness. Light of the world, transfigure us. We forget that we are your home. Spirit of God, dwell in us. Eternal Spirit, living God, in whom we live and move and have our being, all that we are, have been, and shall be is known to you, to the very secret of our hearts and all that rises to trouble us. Living flame, burn into us. Cleansing wind, blow through us. Fountain of water, well up within us, that we may love and praise in deed and in truth. Eternal Spirit, flow through our being and open our lips, that our mouths may proclaim your praise. Let us worship the God of love. Alleluia, alleluia. Psalm 4 
Answer me when I call, O God, for you are the God of justice. You set me free when I was hard-pressed. Be gracious to me now and hear my prayers. Men and women, how long will you turn my glory to my shame? How long will you love what is worthless and run after lies? Know that God has shown me such wonderful kindness. When I call out in prayer, God hears me. Tremble, admit defeat, and sin no more. Look deep into your heart before you sleep and be still. Bring your gifts just as you are, and put your trust in God. Many are asking, who can make us content? The light of your countenance has gone from us, O God. Yet you have given my heart more gladness than those whose corn and wine and oil increase. I lie down in peace, and sleep comes at once. For in you alone, O God, do I dwell unafraid. It is the God who said, Let light shine out of darkness, who has shown in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels, to show that the transcendent power belongs to God and not to us. We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed. Perplexed, but not driven to despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Struck down, but not destroyed. Always carrying in the body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be manifested in our body. Into your hands, O God, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God, of truth and love. Keep me, O God, as the apple of an eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wing. Preserve us, O God, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in your peace. Praise be to God, I have lived to see this day, God's promises fulfilled and my duty done. At last you have given me peace, for I have seen with my own eyes the salvation you have prepared for all nations, a light to the world in its darkness, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory be to God, sustaining, redeeming, sanctifying, as in the beginning, so now, and forever. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. I will lie down in peace and take my rest, for it is in God alone that I dwell unafraid. Let us bless the earth maker, the pain bearer, the life giver. Let us praise and exalt God above all forever. May God's name be praised beyond the furthest star, glorified and exalted above all forever. Lord, it is night. It is night, the night is for stillness. Let us be still in the presence of God. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. The night is dark. Let our fears of the darkness of the world and of our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us, all dear to us and all who have no peace. The night heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day, new joys, new possibilities. In your name we pray. Amen. The blessing of God, the eternal goodwill of God, the shalom of God, the wildness and the warmth of God, be among us and between us now and always. The divine spirit dwells in us. Thanks be to God. Good night, Kit Cover. <laughs>